it up by soaking the cotton balls in a paint water mixture. Uh, just mixed some acrylic paint, different colors. I've done blue, yellow, red, and then I just squeezed out the extra water from the cotton balls. You can actually make quite a few cotton balls, color quite a few cotton balls from one batch of water. So if you make a lot of fire or if you're planning on doing that, it's definitely worth making a large batch. You can definitely double up on the drying time since it takes quite a while. It's easier just to do a whole bunch at once and then they're ready to go. To help them dry out faster, you can kind of poof them out um, just so that they have they aren't as dense, so they have more airflow going through them. Once the cotton balls are dry, go on to actually making the fire or whatever spell effect you're going for. So what I like to do is take some hot glue and stick it on a toothpick and then take a cotton ball and kind of wrap it around in a spiral around the toothpick. One cotton ball is usually enough for, at least for the things I've done, given that I'm using miniatures um, 28 millimeter or whatever they are about that. Um, one cotton ball goes quite a long ways and I've found it works quite well for like dragon fire. That's one, one cotton ball is about right. For the hot glue, less is more. Way, way, way more. If you use too much, then there's these weird hot, hard spots where the hot glue is kind of coming off the toothpick and it just makes it difficult to shape the cotton ball. It also sticks to you and stays hot longer making you more likely to burn yourself. Yeah, speaking from experience. For shaping the cotton ball after it's glued on, I just like to spin it a little bit, spiral it. Uh, it seems to help make it look more realistic to me. Um, you can also like twist little bits together if the cotton ball isn't really sticking together. If one bit's kind of falling off or the two like different layers aren't sticking well, you twist them together a little bit, try to make them into one cotton ball kind of. Once you're happy with the shape, you can go on to painting it some more. So the color that you've used is sort of the base color. I think uh, yellow works really well for fire since at the core of the fire, the center part, it's hotter, which means it's an, a lighter color. So often yellow, if it's really hot, it might be white or blue, but generally yellow is pretty good. And then as it goes to the outside, it gets a darker color. So to make this effect, you use some spray paint and you just spray a little bit of red on the outside edge of the fire and then to take it just a little bit farther to add like a smoky effect you can add some black spray paint as well for the black i would recommend less but for the red you can actually go pretty heavy like not heavy but make it fairly red and then if you go too far or if you want the yellow showing through in more places make it less splotchy um, you can go back and pull off little bits of cotton so that will that will reveal the deeper levels darker lighter color I think you get what I mean I think this works especially well if you do it like I often use a fire jet coming out of like a dragon or some sort of weapon. If you then take the black and red off of that initial jet right here, that really makes it look, since that's the hottest part of the fire, it looks much more realistic. You might think red's a better base for fire. I did try it out. It just doesn't have the same depth as the yellow. It really doesn't work nearly as well. For water, I used light blue, or just normal blue for the soaking, and then I went on to spray paint it a little bit of white, blue, and clear coat. I did a lot of the clear coat. I'm still not convinced this is the best method, but it's the best that I've found 
so far. I would like it to look more wet, but that's going to take a little bit more experimentation. I'm thinking probably not cotton is the way to go, but cotton is very easy to work with. So what I did was basically douse this little guy in clear coat and then come back with some blue to give it more color variation and a little bit of white on the tips to try and make it look like a splash. This gave too much blue or like white in the knot crest sort of areas of the wave or the water. So I went back and kind of smeared them with my finger. Probably not the best to use your finger smearing spray paint. It's kind of a pain to clean off and it's probably not the best, but anyway, just tried to smear it into like one layer so it doesn't look all splotchy, but rather like a nice stream. Uh, the spray paint works really well for fire since together with the cotton it gives this very splotchy, um, varied look, which is realistic for fire. It's very flickery and splotchy. But water is a nice stream usually. It's blended. It's a liquid. It flows together. It's mixing. So it's not as great for water. I think this looks significantly better than no spray paint or clear coat or anything. But it might be worth checking out like a resin or something like actually casting something for water to be expanded on, hopefully. So I hope you liked this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more train building content, diorama content, if you'd like to see more videos like I've made before, please consider subscribing. And thank you for watching. With that, I'll see you in the future.